Most of the races in Pennsylvania's primary election are decided, but one matchup is still way too close to call. For months now, we've been covering, and the nation has been following, this highly contentious field of seven Republicans hoping to advance to the general election and replace the retiring U.S. Senator Pat Toomey. This is now a two-man race. After lobbing millions of dollars in attack ads at each other since before the new year, Mehmet Oz and Dave McCormick are locked in a very close contest, and a potential recount is very much in play. Dennis Owens joins us with the latest on the numbers and what that recount could look like. Dennis. Hey, thank you very much. You mentioned the whole country's watching. That's because the balance of power in the U.S. Senate could be decided by the Pennsylvania seat, and the whole country... And the Commonwealth will have to wait a while longer before we know which Republican will fight for it. Here are the up to the minute tabulations as you see Oz leading by about 3,000 uh, over McCormick. But remember, if two candidates are within one half of 1% of each other, and they are, a recount is automatically triggered. That would be the case, as you see with those numbers. Now, last night, both Oz and McCormick appeared in front of supporters at what were supposed to be victory parties. They thanked them for their hard work and said no results tonight, but both men insisted they would ultimately be declared the winner. Of course, only one of them will. So what now? On Friday, county, uh, counties will begin counting all the ballots for an official number. They will include mail-ins, provisionals, and overseas ballots. Those are due to the state by Tuesday at 5 p.m. If there's a need for a recount, the Secretary of State will declare that. If a recount is required, it can begin no later than June 1st. It must be done by June 7th, and the results must be declared by June 8th. There is a very specific process to follow. We've spent, you know, two years, a lot of misinformation about how elections work. You know, the goal here is accuracy uh, and ensuring that every vote is counted. We want it to be done quickly as well. Um, but we're much more concerned that it's done accurately and everyone's voice is heard. Well, defeated candidates can waive that recount and save the state the million dollars or so it would cost to do it. Bottom line, we wait and we count. And as my parents used to say, we'll see. Now remember, Oz has the endorsement of former President Donald Trump, who on his Truth Social app today encouraged Oz to declare victory, saying it would, quote, make it much harder for them to cheat with the ballots they just happen to find. So whoever comes out on top in the Republican field will face John Fetterman.